For this lesson, this is gonna really improve the child's ability to change directions. It's gonna work on their agility, their hand-eye coordination, as well as their throwing skills. It's gonna be very beneficial for them when they start to rally because they'll be able to change directions and stop and turn on a dime. So let's go on court and see how it's done. All right, Kyle, so this next game is called Jumbo Ball. I'm gonna stand in one spot and I'm gonna to toss the balls any direction I want. You're gonna let them bounce once, then you'll catch them, throw them back to me, and then you'll get the next one. Okay? Ready? Okay, ready? Go. Nice. Either way, either way. Almost. One more. Great job. Alright Kyle, so this next one, you're going to stand from the service line, I'm going to toss the ball up in the air, you're going to run to catch it and throw it as far as you can, try and hit the back fence when you throw, okay? Ready? Alright, we're going to do three of them. Ready? Go! Nice. Good throw. Oh, two more. Ready? Go! Good. Last one. Go! Awesome. All right, Kyle, so this drill, you're gonna go on the other side of the net. I'm gonna to toss the ball, well, I'm gonna hit it with my racket any direction. You're gonna to run to catch it and then throw it back to me, okay? All right, so you're gonna start right on the tee. After you catch it, go back to the tee after you throw. Ready, go. Nice, back to the middle. Good. Ready, run forward, go. Get two more. Ready, any direction. Nice. Last one, have your hands ready, go. Awesome job. All right, Kyle, so this game is called Tunnel Ball. You're gonna be standing on the center line and you're gonna be shuffling left and right. I'm gonna roll about 15 to 20 balls between your feet and you just have to move and let the ball, the ball pass between your feet. Okay? Awesome. Okay, so you're gonna shuffle left and right. Stay on your toes, ready, go. Nice, good job. So some things to keep in mind for this lesson. You want to start out small. Don't make the toss too challenging for them. You don't want to have them throw, you don't want to throw it too far for them. So start out close, and then as they get faster, and as their ability to change directions improves, then you can move them further and further. Also, when they throw, you want to try to measure how far they throw. So if they're on the service line, when they throw and they can throw over the net, see where it lands. Maybe put a coin on that spot where the ball landed. And then the next time they throw, see if they can get a little further and then put a coin again. So that they can see improvement and they can see growth and they know that they're just awesome and they're getting better. Now, for the next lesson and the final lesson in this series, it's gonna be on racket control. So, let's go and check it out. <laughs> 